Hello, Facebook, YouTube. The day of Uriel, the archangel. God is our fire. God is our light. Nope, not uh, Wooden. He's a false god. Quit acknowledging false gods on God's days. All right. Well, I had an interesting adventure last night with a friend. Shout outs to my boy, uh, uh, Will, um, helping a, a, helping a, a late, a late woman, um, without, with her laundry mat last night. It was interesting. Uh, had fun with that. Um, and well, uh, more research on Gog and Magog. Well, interesting that, you know, here's the thing that I want y'all to know about. Well, they have these things, uh, they call them folklore legends, you know, that they try to make stories that happen in history, f fictional, uh, ideas you know what i'm saying like it never happened but folklore stories majority of them are true majority of them are true some of them may be false but majority of them i can tell you are true and i you know looking at gog and magog now because look it says in um e ezekiel 38 talks about a war but uh this war that I'm researching and finding out about isn't a war that's uh, based upon natural human beings, but really actually giants, actually giants that I'm discovering that I went and found, uh, researched. Uh, and, you know, it's interesting when you research and Google, they, I, I, I question this, uh, let me see, Alban, Albanian, the place of a uh, place called Al Albanian something. Um, they they I clicked on there. They said, uh, I don't click on this video unless you want some cookies in your iPad. Yeah, say so, oh I hit a I hit a I hit a you know nail I hit a target. Aim it at it properly. So I read the story. So I went and found a story because I ain't trying to get no cookies in my iPad. I went and found a story of 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 this folklore, and it, it's a story that a uh, crazy story, but it makes sense concerning if it happened and before the before the flood. You know what I'm saying? That giants were produced across the world there was a lot of giants across the world i mean not like i said and i'm not talking about no goliath sized giants or it says uh, og the king of bashan he was pretty tall but not this tall that you know uh that existed we talking about 20 feet tall to 30 feet tall to 40 feet tall and to people tall in the side that can look in the Statue of Liberty face. Very tall. And interesting, I found out about this story uh, that, you know, that people are not aware of this information that, yes, giants are still living. You know what I'm saying? That are really tall. You don't see them, but they're hiding in darkness. That is not you know, that shout outs to a lot of people that are making awareness of giants. Um, Steve uh, McQuell and a lot of researchers, Tim, and, you know, a lot of researchers on L.A. Reed. Um, there's a lot of people talking, trying to make awareness of giants existence and giants are still here, are hiding in darkness. You know what I'm saying? That we need to be aware of. If, and should motivate us to have a relationship with God and have a desire to fear the Lord thy God. You know, that, that's what it's all about. God are we to fear the Lord thy God and to understand that th this here comes a natural reason, not just a spiritual reason, but a natural reason that you should fear the Lord thy God and you should 
should draw closer to God because there's evil forces amongst you that is way more greater than you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Satan and his kingdom of darkness, uh, man, I'm finding out how much more about, you know, the principalities and powers and rules of darkness and spiritual wickedness in high places. Oh man, he, man, Satan got a whole heap of, uh, uh, people or evil forces. He has a lot of evil forces in all different, all shapes and sizes that you need to put on the whole armor of God and truly be about sincere about having a relationship with God. If Jesus said that it shall be like the days of Noah. So you need to take that into great consideration concerning, uh, what's going, what, what is happening, what, or you're supposed to be seeking and trying to find out the truth because this world system ain't, uh, ain't going to tell you the truth. They're trying to deceive you so you can be overwhelmed by the, uh, the real truth that has been hiding for a long time. Well, been hiding, it's been there, but you know, nobody's not asking and seeking and finding out these information. They're finding out the things of this world more than they're finding out the things of the truth concerning what's really going on, the evil that is really is uh, going to be revealed. You know, well, but all kind of clues, I, those that really sincere trying to find the truth, it's out there for you to find. It's just you're not going to find it because you're conformed and caught up in this world system. Is what really fearing the Lord it's supposed to be all about, but I want to talk about the uh, topic <clears throat> about this scripture of Joshua four twenty four that you know I love the scripture uh, that is um and it's interesting Joshua four twenty four John four twenty four God is spirit and they shall worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. See how that works? And Joshua 24 says that all the people of the earth might know the hand of the Lord that it is mighty, that ye might fear the Lord your God forever. Now, here's the thing about what you got to understand about Joshua. Joshua, of course, let uh, led the uh, children of Israel to conquer the territories of the promised land, that he encountered so many giants, you know, in that, in you know, invading, you know, the, uh, the land. He encountered so many giants. And, you know, the idea of me talking about that giants is still existing on the earth should not be no stranger to you if you're truly following what the word of God and researching what the word of God says and truly about trying to expose the kingdom of darkness and really find out what going on because you are a light, you will re it reveal the truth that is there. But that's another message. But you know that all the people of the earth might, they might, they might not, you know what I'm saying? And you see, and that's the thing you got to understand about fearing the Lord, that it is a choice. It's a choice to do this or not do this, because, you know, the thing is, people think, you know, they, oh, they think they will automatically will fear God. No, you can't automatically fear the Lord. You have, as what the scripture says, you know, as what Moses said to when he was that you have to learn to fear the Lord thy God. And if you don't learn to do this, you know what I'm saying? Repercussions, you know, of consequences of disobedient, disobedient towards him, that that ugly situations happen. I asked the children of Israel by studying the word of God. But the thing is, you know, that you might, that you might know that the hands of the Lord is mighty. Now, look, this, you know, world system we live in, they don't know that. Now, it says all the people, 
Now, right now, it's some people know that the Lord, the hands of the Lord is mighty. Some uh, Christians and some people that, you know, are somewhat Christian. If they somewhat know that it's mighty, it's, I mean, they may have encountered the healing, deliverance, salvation, power of his miracle power for God, but they might still think, you know, this is, this is, uh, it's not really real. It's not really, you know, truly powerful, you know, is really the huge problem of, of course, this religious uh, church system is, uh, see, here's what you need to understand about religion that I, I need to go through real quick. Um, Like at, in Jesus' day, you know, he had the Pharisees and Sadducees. Religion is created to neutralize the ideal viewpoint of God. It's to neutralize that you do not know that his hand is mighty. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, as to see and read the New Testament, to see that, you know, these scribes and Pharisees were the villains to Jesus Christ trying to establish the kingdom of God and teaching the people to truly have a relationship with God and establish the kingdom of God in heaven. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's on yeah, on earth as it is in heaven. You know what I'm saying? Jesus taught it and he had villains. And it's to new and, and religion is created to neutralize the effect of the mighty hand of God, which is going on right now because people people don't people the mass majority of people of this earth do not fear God as we can see you know the the, the wickedness and the evil that is carrying on by many many people and many more people because of the the condition because of a church system not following the scriptures and following the word of God that they won't people are not going to fear God you know what I'm saying and 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 how many how many more people should those that truly fear God should make aware of this if you fear God and say oh you know look this is it's getting worse you know what I'm saying we need to do something about it. And what you're supposed to do that I try to make people aware of it. You know what I'm saying? Make people question the system of the church, system how the church is done and system how the church is going on. It's in, first of all, look at the Acts Church, you know, the beginning of the establishment of the church. And, you know, the pattern, like I try to show people the suffering pattern, Jesus Christ suffered. Uh, for for the sake of the gospel, if you read the scriptures uh, of Acts, the apostles suffer for the sake of the gospel. If you research the first century church Christians, they suffer severely for the sake of the cross. And now, suffering what 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 happened to the what happened to the suffering? What happened to the persecution? Great, well, is going on in other countries. You know. Cr Christians are being persecuted, you know, for their faith. It's going on in other countries, but United States of America and other places, no, no persecution going on there. Because the thing is, because there's no suffering activity, really. No sincere suffering is not for the sake of righteousness, as what it says in Matthew's um, five, fifth chapter. And when you're not doing that beatitude and not suffering for the sake of righteousness, that you're willing to tell the truth and present the truth according to the word of God and get people to let them understand if you're going to follow God, you have to follow this. It, you know, you supposed to suffer because when we follow the word of God, then we become mighty. You know what I'm saying? Don't you? If we follow what the word of God says in his instructions, then we become mighty. But we're not going to become mighty if we don't follow the instructions of the word of God and do what, you know, it says. But if that doesn't happen, then the fear of the Lord is not going to uh, reson resonate in the world. The world doesn't care about God. They don't really care about disobeying God. They don't care about, you know, they we we got more atheists in the world. You know, they don't even think he exists. 
is really the ideal slap in the face to really ideal viewpoint of a Christian that really we're not performing the word of God that most people cannot believe that he don't exist. You know what I'm saying? God, the gospel has been given to the church that we may, you know, uh, be bring healing and deliverance and salvation and miracles and resurrection. If we're not doing that, there's not going to be no reverence uh, developed among people that they will see the mighty hand of God, that they will want to fear God, that we need to consider to see this is what's going on right now. If we truly about fearing the Lord thy God is what I'm trying to say. All right, that's the message. Hope you understand it. Hope it makes sense to you. It's God be glory. And forever and ever in Jesus' name, amen.